get out of the norm of the custom, the custom way and the traditional way of doing things? Honestly, I, I feel like I've always been different. Ever since. I remember being in middle school and once I started like a comic book series. So I drew the whole comic book series. I started about two stories. And then after that, we printed it, of course. We yeah. made some copies and we started selling it to the kids. Uh, and I sold it for like 25 cents each. And I ran up like $20. I just always been like a creative person, creative yeah. thinker, and I know like growing up, my mom was like a single mom, mm -hmm. and I seen her go through a lot of stuff. So I always had that like I want to make my mom happy type yeah. of thing. So yeah. I'd always try to like do things to make her happy. How'd you get involved in real estate? So whenever I graduated high school, like I mentioned, I started working a construction job. I was doing excavation work, you know, like brutal work, and then on uh, uh, top of that, I was going to college. I remember this this teacher asked the whole class, you know, how many hours do you work? And I just remember being the only kid that was working like 70 hours. Transitioning into real estate, it was really just financial literacy. So mm -hmm. I started self-educating and I was really big on that and I read Rich Dad Poor Dad. And then at that time I was still working and going to college, so I'm like, real estate seems pretty fascinating some of your, st your story is similar to my story my, my turning point came from my job as well like mm -hmm. I remember my job I didn't they didn't let me go so in my mind I'm like you know what I ain't gonna never have another man tell me can, what, what I can I can and you know what I mean so I just started that race that poor that mm -hmm. to me I think a job is really meant for you to learn as much as you can from that job mm -hmm. and then implement that in your business mm -hmm. Do you have any mentors whenever you jump I never really had a set mentor I just came across so many people who are multi-millionaires and millionaires too and um, I just want, you know, the right guidance, somebody who has a good heart. Because I meet a lot of rich men and business partners of mine, but they're just, they're not really doing the right moral things sometimes. Why would I want guidance from that, even though they got money? One of the things that really blessed me, bro, what we talked about yesterday, I don't know if you want me to share it, but mm -hmm. about your relationship with God, man. And that's key because at the end of the day, bro, God is in control of everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I make sure that I'm, I always mention God on every platform that I'm on because that's why I got what I... I have, bro. Tomorrow's a big day. Getting baptized. Getting baptized, man. Hey. Bro, I think all my life, you know, I just had to have that certain sense of keeping God in your life. It's really through hard times, yeah. you know, having faith. I would have not made it without faith. You did do it at a young age, bro. Yeah, you know, man. I started a little late, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm still learning. I don't know everything. I'm not afraid to tell people that I, I'm also a student. Always remember that, bro, is to remain a student. Most mm -hmm. people that remain a student is the ones who win. Mm -hmm. the people that always try to be a know-it-all, mm -hmm. those people, they lose. And even if I know it, like my pastor tell me certain things mm -hmm. that I already know and I already read about, mm -hmm. I'm going to listen because there may be some revelation in there that I got. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, you know what? That's, that was good. Mm -hmm. like, I, didn't, I didn't catch that last time. And I'm always open to learn, bro. Like, I'm always listening, right? Yeah. From everybody. There's a certain intelligence you get through life mm -hmm. you know in that's, age that's. like you know some people go through different circumstances through age and stuff like yeah. that and i know like that's a different type of wisdom well i want you to be able to look at this camera for those that are watching and just give them you know whatever you feel like some guidance whatever like some they might not know where to start because some yeah. people bro the hardest thing bro for some people is getting started bro it's just really making that decision for yourself. If you don't make that decision, you're just gonna go through the same routine. Are you gonna continue to not believe in something? Every day you gotta believe in at least yourself. Just put bets on yourself and no matter what circumstance you in, you know, I was driving to Houston in a little Toyota Corolla, bro. Man. And I didn't look at my car as a representation of where I was at. I used to pull up to meetings, photo shoots and everything. And people didn't know what I was driving, but I still came in there like, no, I was driving at Rolls Royce or something, you know? Yeah. I didn't let that hinder me. Bro, every day when you wake up to it, mm -hmm. you got to believe in it to change it, bro. Because if you don't believe in it, it's not going to change. I used to listen to podcasts. You know, I listen to Rick Ross, you know, Nipsey Hussle. Rick Ross, hey, Rick Ross be spitting some to, game, bro. And hey, Rick he, Ross said something so cold, bro. He said, uh... He's no. like, I don't want to go fast. I want to move correctly. Oh, Y'all witnessing right now, man, a young man. That is, uh, I mean, you're not gonna find, it's very rare to find a young man like this. So I was the first to interview him. <laughs> I'm honored to even be, you know, uh, with you, man, to even interview you and hear your story. Uh, I know we could go on and on about it, but bro, yeah. I appreciate you though, real talk. Yeah, for sure.